Well, I'm completely broke again. I mean, flat busted. My neighbor convinced me that I needed a timing gear and timing chain while I was at it, replacing all this stuff on the on the Silverado, the four-wheel drive. And came into town, went to advance, priced it out, $23. Everywhere I looked at online, they were $43. And I'd have to wait for them. So I got a new timing chain and timing gear. All I've got to do now is get the uh, get the thing put back together or get it snatched out first. I've got to find me some assembly lube for the for putting the crank in. If you don't put those in with some assembly lube, those first couple cranks can score the crank enough to uh, spin the bearings or do some serious damage. So, my next goal is to find a find or borrow a engine hoist. get that motor snatched out. I'm trying to remember how many bolts. I think there's like maybe eight bolts that hold the transmission to the motor and then three for the torque converter. There's five in the flywheel that hold the flywheel to the back of the crank. But my main obstacle is the four exhaust gaskets or exhaust bolts because they're rusted fast they'll turn but the whole thing turns bolt and everything so rather than fight with that and wind up breaking them off anyway I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them out and call it a day and just figure out from from there where I'm gonna get the replacement bolts to put in it. As soon as I get those four bolts cut and the transmission bolts out, I can lift the motor up out of there, get it flipped over and get the uh, new crank put on it. But I'm finding a lot of people don't, don't really know what uh, assembly lube is because there's so far there's not a store in town that's got it that may be something that I have to wind up ordering but like I said you don't want to put an engine back together without it once I get this all put back together put the new timing gear and timing chain on and get the uh, crank put in it it shouldn't be but maybe a day's worth of uh, putting it back together and dropping it back in the truck then I'll have that cold start to do that one's fairly simple because it doesn't have all the 50,000 sensors that the, the newer trucks have like this one or the one that I'm working on for my daughter. But for the most part, I've got everything done that, or everything together to get this done. It's just a matter of actually getting on my ducks in a row to get the thing uh, in progress. I will show you here in a second. Here's the new timing gear. That's the main gear goes on the cam. Gear that goes on the crank. 
and the chain. So, shouldn't be too hard to take that old one off and put the new one back on. And it should be ready to rock and roll here in just a, probably a matter of a week. I'm getting kind of close, getting ready to show you what I've done so far with the body filler. So far I've got that smoothed down pretty well, but there's a spot here, spot there, and a spot there that I need to fill in. I just did a rough sand on it, so it's it's got plenty of grain in it and everything. And there's also a spot right here I need to fill. So I have to put another little light coat on there. And then, of course, my drill ran out. I was using a cordless drill to try and sand this all down with. And my son has used them to the point that I'm only getting like anywhere from three to five minutes worth of juice out of the thing and it dies, which is worthless. And I can't afford the 90 to 100 bucks to buy a new set of batteries. I did get the bed liner and the tailgate off of this truck. And surprisingly, it's not that bad. Got a rust spot right there on the bed where they had a fifth wheel hooked up in here before. But all of that should be pretty well repairable still. Aside from that, this truck doesn't have as many scratches on it on the bed as my red one does. They've also got a little trailer hookup right here, which means they've linked with the electric a little bit. Don't like seeing that, but I should be able to fix that pretty easy. Um, of course, my neighbor seemed to think that there was bolts in the middle of the bed that held it in. There's actually not. As you'll see all the way up, it's just metal. But there's six bolts underneath that have to come out, three on each side, that actually hold it in. I'd get up under there and show you, but I don't think you can see them. Well, one's right there, right where the, the frame and the bed meet. And then there's two on each side in the back, back there. right past the leaf springs on the inside. You take those two and the one on the front on each side right there out. Should be right in the center of the screen. And uh, then the whole bed should come up. Don't think I'll have a whole lot of trouble with it, but uh, once I get that off, I'll be able to cut that cab corner out like it's supposed to be because right now I need to go in about about four or five inches and cut it across there to where because I'm replacing the whole cab corner on this since it was all rotted out clear to here. I've got to do that and then cut my um, my rockers. Now I can use this metal for one of the rockers but I'll have to fill in like right here where those bolt holes are I'd have to fill that in but what I wasn't considering is that I can use probably use that metal right there but then again as wide as I need it it'll have those holes in there right at the edge so I won't have that part to weld the metal with. So I'm kind of in a catch on that one. Might be able to use some of this. I don't know. I'll have to measure it all out before I get started with it. But that's kind of where I'm at. And we should have this thing looking like some kind of a semblance of a truck again here shortly and I'm gonna blast all the paint off of this and get it back to where it looks like somebody owns it 
instead of some redneck that just kind of patched it up but and then I'll have to find eventually a, a new windshield for it because it looks like somebody went romping in it and bashed somebody's head against the windshield so that's gonna be fun too but anyway just kind of wanted to give you a little more update on the progress uh, thank you for watching and you guys have a great afternoon